settings, time, and place are units for measuring humanity and nature. Our actions and movement are measured in time and placed in space. When we look around ourselves, we understand that we're not only concerned about the well-being of our relatives, but also our neighbors. We need them. Whatever language we use, the word human carries a complex truth. The human is a noble creature. Human-centered work is one of the noblest deeds one can do. Human beings grow through many ups and downs in life. And while the likes of us face dangers because of man-made or natural events, standing by the side of victims is heavenly. Action for the Needy Ethiopia, ANE, is an indigenous humanitarian organization that stands for these values in partnership with Ethiopian government, UN agencies, embassies, donor countries, and organizations. The main donor for ANE humanitarian projects in Ethiopia are the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, UNHCR, and Agency for Refugees and Returnees, ARRA, ARA. In Ethiopia, ANE's humanitarian program covers provision of food and core relief items, CRIs, health, water, sanitation, and hygiene, wash, shelter, and infrastructure, education, livelihood, emergency services, environmental protection, energy, and psychosocial support for people with specific needs to meet the basic need of refugees, drought-affected host communities, and returnees from internal displacement. Action for the Needy in Ethiopia has been established in 2012 by a voluntary group of individuals uh, who have strong humanitarian work experience and commitments. You know, those who establish action for the needy in Ethiopia was working in different organizations, humanitarian organizations. Since its founding, Action for the Needy, ANE, has done various humanitarian deeds in all parts of Ethiopia. It has effectively used the finance it gets from its partners, mainly UNHCR and ARA, for rehabilitation work in different places by conducting need assessments and implementing suitable projects accordingly. Our main objective is just to reach the most in need. These projects benefited quite a number of refugees from neighboring countries, returnees from internal displacement, and vulnerable host communities. One of the best examples of these deeds is the support that it provides to South Sudanese refugees that fled the war in their countries who are now sheltered at refugee camps established in Gambella Regional State. Anis Gambella branch started by water trucking in from Jawi refugee camp that shelters migrants from South Sudan. Apart from this, we provided water for society for immediate needs in cooperation with our partners. Among the signature activities conducted by Actions for the Needy in Ethiopia through project partnership agreement made with UNHCR and ARA, one is located in this refugee camp called Nunya. Ane has done much in this camp. It has constructed 32.5 kilometers of gravel all-weather road, in addition to construction of flow-span food storage systems funded by World Food Program, WFP, and it availed for use by the South Sudanese refugees. The Nunia refugee camp is the largest camp in terms of operations in Gambella. Anne has worked in this camp by participating in the construction of accessories and emergency constructions. Anne is the forerunner in responding to the emergencies. The refugees have now transitioned from emergency to the transitional stage. I strongly believe that Anne is a humanitarian organization 
that changed the lives and attitudes of the society here. The South Sudanese refugees that are sheltered in the Nungyel camp testify how their lives were eased because of the gravel road that Ane built for them using funding resources obtained from UNHCR and ARA. I fled the war in my country, South Sudan, and ended up in this camp. We face many challenges, but now we're living peacefully. We have food and shelter. Our children also go to school. We are alive because we came here. We are at peace now. Annie is hugely supporting me and my family. It constructed roads for us. Annie has done immense development projects in the camp between 2017 and 2019. It has built us roads, water supplies, as well as various shelters. The shelters have saved the refugees from the rain, the sun, cold, as well as theft. We are always happy with what Annie is doing for us. Another flagship project accorded by UNHCR and ARA to Annie to implement in the Gambela region is the gravel road construction in the Kule refugee camp. Apart from the 6.3 kilometer gravel road construction project in Kule refugee camp, a radio station construction is ongoing in Turkidi for smooth and accelerated communication among the camps. A road leading to this station is under construction also. Another gravel road construction project in the Punido refugee camp, located 110 kilometers from the regional seat Gambela, also bears the fingerprints of Action for the Needy Ethiopia. This project is called Punido 1 and 2, and its aim is connecting campus in Punido 1 and 2. The project consists of the construction of 8 kilometers of road and eight culvert structures. Organizations that worked here used to travel more than 20 kilometers to reach the campus because the whole area was bushy. Now it is only six kilometers. And the other challenges in the refugee camps is the availability of clean drinking water. In Gambela Refugee Operation, one of Ane's projects, endorsed by UNHCR and ARA, implements to purify and provide drinking water to the refugees is currently a life-saving endeavor. In this regard, Ane is implementing such an exemplary project in the Jawi refugee camp. The main objective of this project is providing clean drinking water. More than 60,000 refugees are sheltered in this Jawi camp. We provide 18 liters of water daily for these refugees without any interruption. There is a reservoir with the capacity of storing 30 cubic meters of water that the Ara and others are making use of. They have showers in their houses. In addition, we have also installed three water points for the host community to get clean drinking water. Apart from the refugees from South Sudan, local residents of the Jawi area are also beneficiaries of this clean water project. As funded by UNHCR and ARA, Ane has invested hugely in the construction of shelters and roads in Jawi refugee camp. After Ane constructed this water point for us, we stopped traveling afar to fetch water. We are also saved from waterborne diseases. It has also created jobs to our children. We thank Ane for that. We have immensely benefited from this water point built by Annie. The elderly won't suffer now. We are saved from going to Battle River to fetch water. Our children's time is also saved from fetching water, and they are going to school regularly now.
አኒ በ2019 ፕሮጀክት ይል በስድስት ካምፖች ላይ በአጠቃላይ 868 የመጠለያ ቤቶችን Ani has constructed a total of 868 resident houses, 20 different prototype mud brick houses, 17 kilometers of road, 24 sanitation lines, and with the support of the World Food Program, WFP, 16 flow spans in 2019. In addition to this, Ani has maintained more than 70 resident houses in Jawi refugee camp and provided them to vulnerable refugees. These projects that Action for the Needy in Ethiopia is implementing in Gambella have also created huge job opportunities. Anne did excellent in this community. We have overcome and forgotten our problem and we are living in peace now. Now I am planning to support the skills I learned from here with further education. We all are beneficiaries here. For instance, I am supporting my family economically since starting working here. My brother, who had cut school because of financial challenges, have now resumed their education. The feedback from the society is overwhelmingly positive. As the society itself takes care of the projects, the name Ani and its activities are widely known among them. It was a very long time ago that I came to Jawi refugee camp. Annie has fulfilled our needs for road, drinking water, and housing. We extend our heartfelt thanks for what we have given us. Apart from projects in Gambella, Ane also has various humanitarian projects in Beni Shango Gumus, Oromia, Somali, South Nations, Nationalities and Peoples, Tigray, and Afar regions. Under its Bulehora Field Coordination Office in Bulehora Town, Ane provides support to refugees, returnees from internal displacement, and vulnerable host communities. This Megado refugee camp hosts many refugees from Kenya. Ethiopia hosts hundreds of thousands of refugees from its neighboring countries with an open hand, supported by humanitarians like Ane and its partners, UNHCR and ARA. The Megado Camp Shelters migrants came from five different areas in Kenya. Ane has provided these refugees with shelters, clean drinking water, and cattle so that they can sustain their lives. Their refugees are happy because of this. Currently, Ane is solving the drinking water problem in the Megado refugee camp by providing water using tanker trucks, and the community is grateful for this. The support of UNHCR and ARA also for this project implementation continues to be tremendous. We used to drink river water. Many members of our family also suffered from waterborne diseases because of that and we traveled far for more than 10 kilometers to fetch the water. But now Ani has solved our problems by supplying us water carried by our water trucks. Ani has built residences, latrines, and washrooms, as well as mills for the community use in the Moyali area Mogade refugee camp. Consequently, working on the conservation of nature, Ani has provided environmental protection services, sheep, and goats for Kenyan Borena refugees to improve their livelihood. And the refugees are happy because of this. In the Megado refugee camp in Moyale, Ane has provided the refugees with sheep and goats for reproduction. Now there are refugees that own more than 40 sheep and goats starting from scratch. In addition to this, it has constructed and availed 212 houses, 45 toilets, and one meal for the refugees. The refugees are thankful for the government of Ethiopia for the help they received. It is what they always say. In partnership with the Ethiopian government and UNHCR, 
Ane has also hugely contributed to the rehabilitation of returnees from internal displacement in the West Guji Zone, Oromia Region, and Gedio Zone, SNNP Region, one who fled conflicts. Furthermore, Ane has built houses and worked on environmental conservation for the better benefit of society. <laughs> In the West Guji zone, Ani has constructed 350 houses in two districts for 850 displayed householders. Apart from this, it has supported the displayed people as well as the host community by providing various food items. It also planted trees on four hectares of land. As a government, we evaluate what they are doing and work together with them. I would like to underline that they are role models for others as they work with respect to. Ane has built these 850 houses for returnees from internal displacement from Gedio and Guji zones, in addition to renovating about 15 schools. By doing so, it has prevented children and women from dropping out of school. Ane has not only built houses burned down during the conflict, but also has constructed schools that are now serving the community. Furthermore, it has availed jerry cans and blankets apart from providing food items. The students used to sit in medieval classes with, but now, because Ani has built this comfortable bias school, the students who even had dropped out of school have resumed their education. I want to thank Annie for enabling 2,200 students to get educated in this school since 2018. That's commendable. Anne is also working hard for the sustainable reinstatement of returnees from internal displacement from Gedio Zones, Gelcha Kebele. In the conflict that happened in Gedio and Guji areas, huge amount of property had been damaged. Understanding this problem, Ane has built and provided houses for the residents so that they resume their peaceful life. Ane has also built and put in service a full-fledged hospital in Bulehora for the society to get standard health services. This is a testimony that Ane, along with the Ethiopian government and UNHCR, does not only stand for humanity, but also it has an egalitarian establishment. Anne built this hospital within three months, and it has hugely solved the society's health service problems. Especially, women and children have benefited from the construction of the hospital. Anne has been working as the protector of the demised and shelter to the displaced since 2012. Anne is equally serving both Ethiopians and refugees through road construction, clean water provision, housing construction, schools and hospital construction, as well as environmental protection and resettlement work. For this success, Anne is grateful for partners that worked along with it including in financing the projects. On behalf of the beneficiary and myself, I would like to thank the major donors, UNHCR, the major donors. Over 80% uh, of the operational budget has been covered by UNHCR and ARA operations. The other, uh, I really thanks to the donors, uh, like UNHCR and ARA, WFP, the newcomer to the operations, uh, TICA, uh, Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency, IOM, and UN OCHA, QFFD, through QRCS. These are the donors, those who allocate the budgets for the planned activities for the last uh, eight years. Uh, I really want to thank the donors and government support in all areas and CHASA, any board of directors and any committed staff for their valuable contribution for the successful implementation of the projects. 
A and E, reaching and serving the most in need.